Hey guys, this is Jay Blue coming to the video, and uh, today I want to show you guys a few things about the Trezor T, uh, and I think that they just maybe have messed up uh, either on the firmware or the bootloader. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that um, these things are to be developed as they go, uh, just like the PSP firmware uh, used to be topped over uh, time, like you know, time to time. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I did get the Trezor T. You know, here's the box. It came in a cool box. Um, I guess you see that, um, it's kind of magnetic everywhere, Ooh, there's a little card, I peeled the sticker, I just put it there, um, this is the nice box it came in, uh, comes in a little, like, you know, there's uh, the seed cut, uh, two cards, I, I just put it in the back there, um, the cable came inside, and there's this little magnet rest, I guess you could say, like, dock that you could put, you know it comes out with 3m um just like everyone's been saying i was more like you know i had more hopes that it would be just fully functioning everything's just good to go and i'm not i'm reading this up all over the place you know it came dhl and everything quick fast um and okay so i'll just show you guys okay you see how there's this little sticker here people are saying that the version 08 2018 and 09s are maybe the mixed up or messed up batches with like lack of bootloader or firmware or whatever and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I, I have my original Trezor T here, okay. I've tried this on multiple computers. I tried the 09 and 01, I believe, bridge, okay. I'm just going to show you guys what happens. So first when you plug it in, you have to go to the, obviously the Trezor start. As it says, right here, okay? And I believe I'm running the newest bridge right now, okay? Alright, so, let's just press enter. And let's go to, basically, the site, alright? And what's going to happen is, obviously you're going to enter the T model to get the firmware, okay? And you just click OK. And now you're going to want to install a firmware. Now, now pay close attention, guys. You see how it says this? A lot of people are encountering this problem. You install the firmware, and it's going to download and install, as you can see. It's going to basically sync with this thing and install firmware, obviously. Let's just get a screenshot on that. It's alright, so shaky, guys. It's just not focusing. Anyways. So he's going to do this for a second, okay? Now, supposedly the batch of these guys are the ones that didn't get a proper bootloader. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because you guys are probably stuck at that point and wanting, you know, Trezor to basically give you guys the SD to basically fix this. To set it back to reset factory, some, something similar to like a Pandora battery was to the PSPs. So as you can see, It's just installing, okay? Now, this is what I noticed too. He reboots, but the thing is, is that here, the firmware never finishes all the way 100% on this green bar here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has to refocus again. Anyways, I can't seem to get it, guys, but it the bar never really fully goes all the way, okay? But as you can see, the firmware is installed, right? Now what happens is when you look closely, like let's just say, okay, so we want to go to the wallet from here, which is Trezor Start, and you'll get this error right in the corner right here, and it says action was interrupted due to device details, and then it says device not found, okay? Now people are saying that it's not going to work anymore for Chrome because they, they're trying to block this other basically vulnerability from YubiKey and something else. I think it's the I think it's a Nano Ledger S. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Now if you go to a new tab, okay, so so basically this is always going to be stuck like this. Alright, that's what people are saying right now. And I, I have this the model that I showed you. I believe it's a the 09. Yeah, it's an 09 2018. Okay. 
Um, and if you go here and you, there's, you're supposed to be able to use the extension still. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but people saying like, you know, if this is the last resort, this is what, what should be still working. So if you go to the management through here, okay, and you go to wallet, it will try to reload this this area here and as you can see it says connect to Trezor and now on the top here it went pink and basically says action was interrupted now that might be regarding for the firmware or not who knows okay anyways so let's unplug this thing and no matter what when you plug this thing and you try to go there you're always gonna get some sort of driver error okay so let me get tell you guys too I did install the win USB driver if you don't install the win USB driver you will not be able to see this Trezor regardless of plugging in. So this is the closest I've got to get it to go, okay? So, as you can see, I plugged it in again. Nothing's going to happen. You're always going to get that, and you might even get this error here. Uh, I believe it's like library or lib usb underscore error underscore not underscore found. Or device not found or whatever. There's a couple multiple errors about this right now. So just make sure you have the driver because you'll be closer to at least seeing this as a device. Just like your original Trezor. Okay. Now I've downloaded all the files. I took the liberty of doing everything for you guys. Just so you guys can see this in a quick aspect. I have my 8 gig SD and I just basically downloaded the, the point one bootloader stuff. But I can't really see the version here. But I can see that it's there, and this is what these, the reason for this was for. So as you can see, he's booting up with the SD inside it. I can't really focus on that guy, sorry. Anyways, he's going to want to reboot in 10 seconds if I don't unplug it. And he's going to basically ask me to unplug it without the SD card after. This is the uh, 1, 2, 1, I believe. Or the 201, sorry. This is the 201. Okay. Right? So, let's just re unplug it. Remove the SD card. This is supposed to be fixing the bootloader. However, I notice that what it does is reset it without a firmware. So, when I come back to this place here, like on the page here, to the wallet, okay. I know, see it says connection established, I know that my drivers are working fine and it still sees it as a device until that point. So if you were to go to the wallet or the start, okay I can't seem to do my screen's frozen, sorry. So if you go to the wallet again and you just click your model, again, we're back to stock without a firmware. So I've, I've kind of kept it like this to, the, to this point. Um, and see here, you might even get this screen which says check for device. Um, and even when you check for a device, it's not going to be there, okay? That's what I've noticed with this right now. So there's an issue with the drivers and some sort of thing with Chrome right now that they kind of disabled it uh, just, you know, uh, instantaneously because of the YubiKey vulnerabilities. Um, so this is to get it to stock, okay? That's what the SD is for. It's kind of like loading firmwares privately, you know, you basically like, you're not loading custom firmware, you're running official firmware. So I've set it to stock and I'm leaving it to the way it is and this is, I'm ba basically going to wait for them to either come up with a patch or uh, uh, basically a new firmware for this as it, as it comes in on fresh install. Um, so like I said, I, I do have the model that I mentioned. And um, I've noticed that that's what a lot of people's problem is with the Trezor right now. We can't get our wallets up because it doesn't even let us install the actual firmware and finish and accomplish it, what it's supposed to do. So, um, yeah, like again, like I said, I just want to show you guys that uh, for all you guys out there who are questioning what's going on with this thing. I don't know when they're going to come up with a patch, but I do know I'm running in, into this issue right now. Um, and I, do, I did make the SD card uh, that everyone says to make basically uh, to flush it out to basically wait and basically wait for the new firmware that should be coming out hopefully anyways um yeah uh, i had so much high hopes for this product um and now i'm just like kind of disappointed i'm not completely disappointed because i know this can get further um, again i'm not a coder i'm just a customer um and i'm just looking at it from that aspect and you know coming out and you know having my fingers crossed and hoping everything was awesome gonna be super awesome um and coming to some sort of firmware slash bootloader uh issue uh upon release is kind of a little lame anyways i uh, hope you guys like it i hope i told you guys something or whatever comment below
below. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, and yeah, to all you guys out there uh, who have this same issue, how unfortunate. Uh, and especially for the uh, kind of release of this Trezor T. Uh, Alright, hope you guys like it. See you guys later.